New developments, the man known as the urban cowboy has been found not guilty of nearly a dozen animal cruelty charges. But now he says he can't afford to get the animals that were seized back from Fulton County. John Tuesday, Nicole Carr is live right now in South Fulton County where the man is speaking for the first time. Nicole. Right. Brandon Fulton says his property looks like this because of all the legal trouble he's had over the past several years. But earlier this month, a Fulton County magistrate judge found him not guilty on 11 counts of animal cruelty uh, that caused the county to confiscate several animals, 11 animals there. In his first interview about uh, the charges, Fulton says he's just looking for a fair shake. He described the evidence he provided to the court, the vet records, the photos of healthy horses in the creek where water was readily available um, to them right here on the property. On July 12th, Fulton was found not guilty on all but one count of animal cruelty. He's appealing the 12th count because he says he just rescued the malnourished calf um, and that the investigators took from the property. He says he's now being asked by the county to pay $50,000 to get the horses back from storage even after he was found not guilty. Basically, they stole them. They came here and accused me of something that they did not see. And if they did accuse me of it, then the high authority, the judge, granted me that I was not guilty. So if that was the case, why am I still being challenged to pay you for something that you just took? That's one of Fulton's new horses here on the property. But what remains unresolved is that infamous 2016 case where Fulton was charged and jailed for the death of several horses. Investigators saying the remains were found here on the property. Fulton says he can prove uh, those weren't his horses. We we'll talk about those allegations as we've reached out to Fulton County and we'll have the developments on Channel 2 Action News starting at 4. Live in South Fulton, Nicole Carr, Channel 2 Action News.